Imagine the boundless darkness of space, full of unimaginable mysteries and enigmas. In the 1970s, this darkness began to slowly give way as astronomers embarked on their epical journey into the depths of the universe. Using cutting-edge technologies of the time, they opened a window into a world that had previously been hidden from our eyes. However, what they saw only confirmed the boldest fears. Space turned out to be even more mysterious and dangerous than we could have imagined. While humanity was just beginning to venture beyond Earth, the astronomical discoveries of the 1970s revolutionized our understanding of the cosmos. Unexpected and alarming signals emanating from the depths of space caused scientists to doubt their previous theories. Radio telescopes detected strange pulses from distant galaxies, and new research revealed the existence of black holes, cosmic monsters swallowing everything in their path. These discoveries, revealing to us the depths of cosmic horrors, only confirmed how little we know about the universe. They made humanity realize that our knowledge is just a tiny drop in the vast ocean of the unknown. It is these terrifying discoveries that have inspired a new generation of scientists to seek answers, despite the fears and dangers lurking in the cosmic darkness. But what if the most frightening secrets are still ahead? Among all these stunning discoveries, one of the most remarkable concerned the movement of our own galaxy. In the 1970s, scientists made an incredible discovery. Our galaxy, the Milky Way, is moving through space at a speed of 390 kilometers per second. This staggering velocity opened up an entirely new perspective on the dynamics of the universe and our place within it. This discovery became possible thanks to advanced instruments and technologies that allowed astronomers to measure the movements of stars and cosmic clusters with unprecedented accuracy. Radio telescopes and spectrometers recorded the slightest changes in the motion of celestial objects, enabling scientists to calculate the speed and direction of the Milky Way's movement. The Milky Way's motion, at 390 km per s, is the result of gravitational interactions between our galaxy and other galaxies in the local group. Particularly influential is the massive Andromeda galaxy, which is also moving towards us at a tremendous speed. These discoveries confirmed the theory that cosmic formations are not isolated objects but interact with each other, forming complex structures. Understanding this motion has changed our perception of the universe. We now realize that the Milky Way is in constant motion and interacts with other galaxies. This discovery has also spurred further research aimed at understanding the nature of these movements and their impact on the structure and evolution of the universe. This breakthrough in knowledge has not only expanded our horizons, but also prompted scientists to ponder further directions of research. How exactly do these gravitational forces shape the paths of galaxies? What future awaits our Milky Way as a result of these movements? Answers to these questions promise to reveal even more mysteries and enigmas of the universe, continuing to awe us. Understanding that our galaxy moves at a speed of 390 kilometers per second Scientists raised the question, what causes this motion? The answers to this question are linked to two main factors, the expansion of the universe and gravitational interaction with neighboring galaxies. The expansion of the universe, discovered by Edwin Hubble in the 1920s, remains one of the fundamental characteristics of our cosmos. Since the Big Bang approximately 13.8 billion years ago, space itself has been expanding continuously. This expansion causes cosmic clusters to move apart from each other, akin to points on the surface of an inflating balloon. Our Milky Way galaxy is no exception and participates in this cosmic process. The rate of the universe's expansion, also known as the Hubble constant, is approximately 70 kilometers per second per megaparsec, a unit of distance in astronomy, roughly equivalent to 3.26 million light years. Thus, Part of the Milky Way's motion can be explained by this phenomenon. However, the expansion of the universe is only part of the equation. Gravitational interaction with neighboring galaxies plays an equally significant role. Within the local group of galaxies, which includes the Milky Way, the Andromeda Galaxy, and others, complex gravitational interactions occur. For instance, Andromeda, located about 2.537 million light years away, is moving towards the Milky Way at about 110 kilometers per second. The influence of these gravitational forces manifests as tidal effects, 
which alter the trajectories of galaxy motions. For example, smaller satellites like the Large and Small Magellanic Clouds also influence the motion of the Milky Way, creating a complex dynamic system. Thus, the motion of the Milky Way is driven by two powerful cosmic forces, the expansion of the universe and gravitational interaction with neighboring galaxies. These processes not only define its current position and velocity, but also forecast its future. Understanding these factors opens new horizons for exploration, helping us unravel the mysteries of cosmic evolution and comprehend our place in this grand cosmic dance. But the surprises of space don't end there. Scientists have discovered another mysterious object that has a significant impact on the movement of galaxies in our region of the universe. This object has been named the Great Attractor. The Great Attractor is an area of space located about 250 million light years away from us, in the direction of the constellations Centaurus and Hydra. Its discovery was made possible by studying the movement of stellar systems that were found to be drawn in that direction at extraordinary speeds. Although the exact nature of the Great Attractor remains a mystery, it is believed to be a cluster of a massive number of galaxies and dark matter, creating a colossal gravitational field. Research has shown that its mass could be equivalent to the mass of tens of thousands of cosmic formations, explaining its powerful attraction. This region influences the movement not only of our local group of galaxies, but also of other clusters of constellations in the vicinity. For example, the Milky Way, Andromeda, and a number of other galaxies are moving towards the Great Attractor at a speed of about 600 kilometers per second. The Great Attractor is also associated with the so-called Great Wall, an extensive structure of galaxies stretching for hundreds of millions of light years. This structure is one of the largest known in our universe and consists of numerous clusters and intergalactic gas. However, despite such significant influences, the Great Attractor remains one of the greatest mysteries of modern astronomy. Its exact location and nature are still unclear, making it an object of intense study. The Great Attractor reminds us that our universe is full of unresolved mysteries and unexplored territories. It serves as a testament to how little we know about the structures and forces that shape cosmic space. These studies not only satisfy our curiosity, but also advance us towards a deeper understanding of the universe and our place in it. Many new discoveries lie ahead, which may change our perception of space as radically as the discoveries of the 1970s. Despite the significance of the Great Attractor, and its influence on the motion of galaxies, its study faces serious challenges. One of the main obstacles to understanding this mysterious region of space is the so-called zone of avoidance. The zone of avoidance is an area in the celestial sphere located in the plane of the Milky Way, where the visibility of external star systems is severely hindered by dense clouds of interstellar dust and gas. Our galaxy contains enormous amounts of stars, gas and dust that block the light from more distant objects, making observations in this direction extremely difficult. About 20% of the sky is in the zone of avoidance, and unfortunately, the Great Attractor falls within this zone, complicating its detailed study. To overcome these obstacles, astronomers employ various methods. Nevertheless, even with advanced technologies, studying the Great Attractor remains a difficult task. Light that passes through dense dust layers is often distorted, complicating precise measurement of distances and velocities. Additionally, the high density of stars in the plane of the Milky Way creates significant interference for observations, making the detection of distant objects akin to finding a needle in a haystack. Seemingly insurmountable difficulties do not stop scientists and research continues. Astronomers are developing new methods and tools to overcome these barriers. For example, more sophisticated data processing algorithms help better distinguish objects hidden behind the dust, and upcoming missions, such as the James Webb Space Telescope, promise to provide more detailed images and spectra. Despite all the difficulties, each new piece of information brings us closer to solving the mystery. Progress in studying the Great Attractor has become possible due to advances in radio astronomy and infrared astronomy. These technologies provide unique opportunities to penetrate the dense clouds of interstellar dust and gas that obscure this mysterious object from view. Radio telescopes, such as the Parkes Observatory in Australia and the Effelsberg 100 mm radio telescope in Germany, have played a key role in studying the structure and properties of the Great Attractor. 
Radio waves can pass through dust and gas, allowing astronomers to observe constellations and other cosmic objects that would otherwise be hidden. For example, observations using radio telescopes have revealed a high concentration of galaxies in the direction of the Great Attractor, confirming its significant gravitational influence on surrounding galaxies. Infrared telescopes have also made significant contributions to the study of this region of space. The Spitzer Space Telescope, launched in 2003, has enabled scientists to study objects that emit in the infrared range, which allows for penetration through interstellar dust. Spectra and images obtained with Spitzer have shown the presence of massive galaxy clusters in the zone of avoidance, which was previously impossible to detect in the optical range. Thanks to the combined use of radio telescopes and infrared telescopes, astronomers have been able not only to discover galaxies hidden behind dust clouds, but also to measure their velocities and distances. These data have allowed for the creation of a more accurate map of matter distribution near the Great Attractor, and to understand its influence on the movement of the local group of galaxies. James Webb is already actively working on upcoming missions and new technologies that will significantly expand our capabilities in research. The launch of the James Webb Space Telescope promises to provide even more detailed infrared images and spectra, allowing for a deeper understanding of the nature of this mysterious object. Webb's enhanced capabilities could give us new information about the composition and dynamics of galactic clusters in the avoidance zone. With the development of radio telescopes and infrared telescopes, scientists have been able to penetrate the veil of the zone of avoidance and discover numerous galaxies hidden behind clouds of interstellar dust and gas. These discoveries not only confirmed the existence of the Great Attractor, but also revealed an astonishing diversity and number of galaxies in this previously inaccessible region of space. One of the most significant discoveries was the detection of extensive galactic clusters and superclusters, stretching over hundreds of millions of light years. These structures, previously unobservable, have now become visible thanks to the efforts of astronomers and their use of the latest technologies. For instance, Infrared observations with the Spitzer telescope revealed a massive cluster of galaxies known as the Norma Cluster, located about 220 million light-years away from us. Moreover, the discovery of new cosmic formations and clusters beyond the zone of avoidance has allowed scientists to reconsider their understanding of matter distribution in the universe. These discoveries showed that the density of galaxies near the Great Attractor is significantly higher than previously thought. But how exactly do these structures influence the movement and evolution of the entire local group? Modern radio telescopes, such as the Square Kilometer Array, SKA, which is planned to be built, promise even more revolutionary discoveries. SKA, with its vast signal collecting area and incredible sensitivity, will be able to map the distribution of galaxies and matter in detail, even in the most challenging regions, such as the zone of avoidance. This could lead to the discovery of new structures and significant masses of matter that have not yet been identified. With each new discovery, even more questions arise. How do these hidden galaxies and clusters affect the large-scale structures of the universe? What can they tell us about the process of formation and evolution? The discovery of numerous galaxies beyond the zone of avoidance reminds us that space is full of hidden secrets waiting to be unveiled. Each new discovery adds another piece to the giant mosaic of the universe showing how complex and diverse it is. The discovery of numerous galaxies beyond the zone of avoidance not only broadened our horizons, but also reinforced the concept of the cosmic web and the hierarchical structure of the universe. The cosmic web consists of enormous structures made up of filaments and nodes that form constellations and their clusters. These filaments stretch for billions of light years connecting galaxies into a complex network resembling a web. The voids between these filaments contain significantly less matter and fewer galaxies. The Great Attractor and the galaxies discovered beyond the zone of avoidance are part of this grand cosmic network. The hierarchical structure of the universe implies that galaxies group into clusters, which in turn merge into superclusters. These superclusters can be part of even larger structures known as filaments, which are the primary elements of the cosmic web. This hierarchical arrangement helps us better understand how gravitational forces shape and organize matter in the universe. One vivid example of this structure 
is the Laniakea supercluster, which includes our local group of galaxies. Laniakea spans over 500 million light years and contains about 100,000 galaxies. Studies have shown that the Great Attractor is one of the centers of mass in this supercluster, playing a key role in its gravitational dynamics. With the development of computer simulations and modeling, scientists have been able to reproduce the formation of the cosmic web and study how it evolves over time. These models confirm that gravitational interactions between galaxies and dark matter lead to the formation of such complex structures. Dark matter, which makes up about 27% of the universe's mass energy, plays a crucial role in this picture by creating gravitational potentials. The cosmic web and the hierarchical structure of the universe demonstrate how complex and interconnected our universe is. They help us realize that every discovery, whether it is the great attractor or hidden galaxies, is part of a larger whole. This knowledge underscores the importance of continuous observation and research, opening new horizons and deepening our understanding of the universe and our place in its boundless expanses. One of the interesting aspects of understanding the Great Attractor is its connection to the dynamics of the expanding universe. Studying the movements of galaxies and clusters around the Great Attractor helps astronomers better understand how gravity influences the distribution of matter in space and how these processes interact with the effects of dark energy, a mysterious component accelerating the expansion of the universe. Modern theoretical models allow scientists to simulate the evolution of superclusters and predict their future development. Research shows that superclusters like Laniakea continue to grow and evolve under the influence of gravitational interactions and dynamic processes in the universe. Despite significant advancements in studying the Great Attractor, its nature and full impact on surrounding structures remain subjects of ongoing research. New observational projects such as the launch of the James Webb Space Telescope and the development of ultra-sensitive radio telescopes will play a key role in expanding our knowledge of the Great Attractor and its role in the evolution of cosmic structure. Existential reflections on the future and inevitable isolation from other galaxies in the context of the accelerated expansion of the universe urge us to consider our place in the cosmos and our prospects for the future. With each new discovery and deepening of our understanding of the universe, new questions arise about its ultimate fate and what implications this might have for our galaxy and life within it. According to current theories and observations, the accelerated expansion of the universe implies that over time, galaxies far from us will recede faster and faster. This means that eventually, all galaxies except our own will be so distant that their light will no longer be able to reach us. Thus, we will face inevitable isolation from the rest of the universe. This prospect raises important existential questions about the meaning of our existence on such an isolated cosmic island. Will we be able to communicate with other intelligent civilizations in other galaxies if they become inaccessible to our observations and communication? How will our cosmic perspective and self-identification change when we realize our loneliness in the universe? Such questions stimulate philosophical and scientific discussions about the nature of life, intelligence, and the cosmos. Studying the Great Attractor and its role in the Laniakea supercluster reveals to us a fascinating world of gravitational interactions and cosmic structure. Despite the challenges posed by the accelerated expansion of the universe, our research efforts yield new insights into our cosmic environment and our place within it. The future of our discoveries depends on our relentless pursuit of knowledge and advancements in technology. Stay updated on the latest news in astronomy and cosmology. Subscribe to channels and follow our updates.